the Royal National Lifeboat Institution. It is an institution. I would think um, one of the things I remember growing up, few charities that I believe are worthy causes. RNLI being one of them. Those that you don't know, it's lifeboats. Yeah, 238 stations around Great Britain. Uh, predominantly they're there saving sailors lives swimmers boats in distress and the like that has been their mission for the last 200 years they just celebrated yesterday i believe 200 years um voluntary basis uh, the boat's quite expensive they use a lot of fuel i see we've got our oldest cat in the background <laughs> She's getting on now, but she doesn't stray far, and <laughs> she just invited herself to the video, but that, that's life, is it not? Yeah, uh, it is an institution. That, along with uh, poppies, always bought a poppy as a kid. We used to have them in school, buying a poppy and guide dogs for the blind. I think on the whole, those charities, the money goes where it's supposed to go. Do you mind, Goose? That's life. <laughs> and we've got to laugh a little, haven't we? Sadly, it's sinking. Pun intended. Yeah? So we have a border force in this country. Border force. <laughs> All the irony. <laughs> so the border force have some boats. Yeah? And what happens quite often, they don't have a lot of boats, is they will get in touch with the RNLI. And we'll ask them to uh, launch a boat. We'll go and drag a boat full of illegals to our shores safely. The border force occasionally meets French ships who are escorting the boats that no one can stop. You know, we pay France, what, another 54 million or something to stop these boats? And the French ships or Navy, I'm not sure, actually help them get away from shore. They actually sometimes meet our border force boats who bring them safely to our shores. This is crazy. You can't make this shit up. The RNLI get called out quite often and now they're being labelled a taxi service for illegals. Like I say, it's run on a voluntary basis, this. People contribute, pay money. They used to have, you know, the, the collection vessels all over the place. Drop a few quid in, whatever. People leave money in their wills to the RNLI and the like. Of late, that's stopping. There is some people who pay more, um, you know, with certain agendas. However, the funds are dropping off. It's an expensive service and it's run on a voluntary basis. And the government, the government have contributed nothing. So it's just an addition to the border force, extra vessels for the border force. What the fuck is border force? You know, I, I would think it was to protect our borders, not to assist illegals to get to this country plenty of videos online one yesterday a holiday in load of illegals housed there outside protesting protesting at conditions and food etc so let's just get this right the french navy or ships assist you to the middle of the channel in your rather large dinghies the border force or RNLI then meet you and drag you ashore safely, we put you in a hotel whilst waiting for a house that a home office are now purchasing. All at a cost to the British taxpayer. Eight million a day was quoted. What a joke. It's way more. We also pay France to stop these boats, not assist these boats. If you take all the money, all the money that's spent every single day Let's say it is 8 million, the 50 odd million to France. Everything else, the total cost, 
cost of buying houses and everything and spend it on a few vessels and the moment these big dinghies you know leave French shores just drag them back in and destroy them dinghies that's all it needs to do no one's interested on it because people are making money there is a Scottish company now who's getting paid two million wait for it to pop down to old blighty England and lift the dinghies the illegals are leaving in the water lift them out of the water and dispose of them I'll bet they're getting recycled sent back and used again there was a service round the English shores that did this and 200 pound it cost to lift and use a crane to lift a dinghy out of the water so every single dinghy that comes if we'd use that service it'd be about 300 grand a year but instead we're now paying a Scottish company 2 million they have a turnover of 10 million so that's a, a big investment just to lift dinghies out of the water yeah Serco buying houses and other stuff making a lot of money purchasing or going out and getting landlords private landlords hotels and the like a lot of money aren't they there's all the catering companies a lot of money a lot of businesses a lot of businesses are profiting from illegals the only people who aren't profiting is a British taxpayer it's costing us a fortune and we actually get no benefit from it do we 900 in three days if that continued for the year maths 2,000 a week another 100,000 these are illegal single men not families coming over here putting them in hotels buying them private housing yeah just leapfrogging everyone in the country leapfrogging the they say it's 1.25 1.5 million people on the waiting list for housing social housing driving up private rents and these hotels that are putting them up you can't lose they're loving it guaranteed full payment for every room you've got every single day of the year when you decide you no longer want to do this two three four five years your hotel gets fully refurbished what would happen if there was a blacklist all these hotels on the British public stopped using them after that Lots of people are making lots of money. Me and thee are paying for it. And we get no benefit. Other than private rents, lack of social housing, and everything else that goes with that. I'm just going to leave it there. Sinking the RNLI. It may well go under. Do you think the government will step in and support it? Maybe border force could take over the stations and use the lifeboats and add to their fleet that are assisting the illegals leaving France and coming to our country. Like I say, you can't make this shit up. Pun intended. Goose is gone now. Hope you're well. God bless you all. Thanks for coming. I'll see you.